So, in the last lecture, we learnt how to write the matrix A as L u, where L was lower triangular. and u was upper triangular. Fine. And there was a condition for that in the sense that we needed that if I look at A, then first thing that we needed was that the A 1 1 should be non 0. Then what we had was that look at if A was say this matrix, then the first entry was supposed to be non 0. All right. At the next stage, we wanted that this 2 cross 2 matrix, look at the determinant of that. So, that determinant should be non 0. At the next stage, we required that we had a 3 by 3 matrix here, whose determinant should be non 0. So, somehow when I am trying to solve a system of equation, these determinants are coming into play, and we learned that in our school days how to compute the determinant till the level 3 cross 3. We will not worry about the determinant at this stage, but what we will see is that these determinants lead to what are called non singular matrices. And this is what you saw that the matrices which, which I was trying to multiply on the left, which I had obtained from the identity matrix were invertible matrix. So, we would like to proceed with those directions and then come out with things. So, let us go back to the system of equations. So, if you go back to the system of equations, system of equations. All right. Then, what are the operations we may do? So, generally what we do is the first thing we do is that we multiply a equation by a non zero number that is the first thing that we do. Second thing we do is that we replace one equation we replace an equation say second equation by second equation minus c times for the some c the first equation. This is what we do and we do similar work in the sense that we try to make some entry 0 in the first row sorry in the first column then the second column and so on and proceed. Sometimes, if we do not have a pivot at the right place, then we need to interchange two equations. All right. So, we need to interchange two equations. All right. Say, ith and jth. All right. So, these are the three things that we do when we look at system of equations. What we saw is that all these equations, they get translated into the language of augmented matrix. So, then we have the notion of what is called augmented matrix. And we can do similar thing in the augmented matrix. So, what we do, we can multiply a row by a non-zero number. So, multiply a row by c which is not 0, I can do that. Fine. Similarly, I can replace this equation. So, I can replace the second equation. So, if I have the augmented matrix as a and b, this is augmented matrix. Then I need to replace the second equation, the second row. I want to replace it by second row minus c times the first row. All right. This is what we need to do. And similarly, if we want to interchange, then what happens is that, if I look at this augmented matrix, the ith row here. So, ith row is replaced by the jth row. All right. And the jth row is replaced by the ith row. All right. So, these are the equations. So, whatever we do for the system of equation, we, we need to do the similar thing for augmented matrix. Fine. Now, the next thing is that, 
how do I do it from the matrix perspective all right. So, from the matrix product how do I go about it. So, I will look at matrix product all right. So, let us do it for only by 3 by 3 matrices. So, we start with the identity matrix I 3 all right and suppose I want to multiply the second row. So, second row I want to multiply by C then the matrix that I need here is I am not doing anything to the first row, I am not doing anything to the third row, I am only multiplying the second row by C. So, multiply the third the second row of identity by C. So, just write it here 0 C 0 all right. So, you are multiplying 0 1 0 by C fine. So, that is the corresponding matrix that I need to look at when I look at matrix multiplication and multiplying from the left or what is called row multiplication all right. The second one is replacing here. So, what we do is again here if I note here there is no change in the first row, there is no change in the second in the third row and the second row is being replaced by second row all right second row minus c times the first row all right. So, we write this matrix. So, minus t c corresponds to the first column here fine. Now, here if I want to look at in place of i and j suppose I want to interchange the second and third rows all right. So, if I want to interchange the second and third row I again go back to identity for me all right. First row there is nothing no change second row is being replaced by the third row. So, this is the third row of identity and the second row of identity is this all right. So, these matrices that I get here which relate to the system of equation whatever we do for the system of equation they are called elementary matrices. So, these matrices are called elementary matrices all right. So, what are elementary matrices? It is the set of those matrices which can be obtained from the identity matrix by applying exactly one row transform here is that ok. So, again so let us look at some examples. So, that better understanding example. So, I have identity with me say I 4 or let it be I 3 itself for us all right and I want to look at what are called elementary matrices. So, there are three types of elementary matrix that we saw. So, let me write say E 2 of 5. So, E 2 of 5 will be second row is being multiplied by 5. So, first row there is no change, second row is being multiplied by 5 and third row also remains the same fine. Then I have what is called E 1 2 of say minus 5 all right. So, it says that replace first equation of first row by minus 5 times by first row minus 5 times second row. So, I am replacing the first row. So, first row I have to take care of this the first row is this and then I am replacing by first row minus this. So, minus 5 times the second row. So, this is my thing is there is no change in the second row, there is no change in the third row all right. Then I have the last one what is called say 1 3 of 1 3 which is interchange of. So, interchange first and third row. So, first row is in being interchanged by the third row, there is no change in the second and the first becomes the third one all right. So, let us try to understand this for an example A. So, let me take the matrix A as 1 2 5 0 minus 1 0 and and say minus 1 1 0. Suppose, I have this matrix A, I want to look at what is E 2 5 times A. So, what we are doing is we are multiplying this to the first one. So, first row is replaced by as it is. We are multiplying by 5 to the second row. So,
So, just multiply by 5, you get 0 minus 5, 0 and the third row again remains the same. So, we get this all right. I can look at what is E 1 2 of minus 5 times a. I would like you to see that this is nothing, but the first row is being re replaced second and third remain the same. So, the second remains the same third remains the same all right. First is this minus 5 times this. So, since it is 5 times this I just have to add it. So, it is 1 5 plus 2 is 7 I hope and 5 here is that ok. So, I am writing 1 2 5 and then minus 5 times 0 minus 1 0 which is 1 5 plus 2 is 7 and 5 this is what we get. Then we have E 1 3 of A will be equal to minus 1 1 0 0 minus 1 0 1 2 5 all right. So, this is the way it is, but the important thing here is we are multiplying these elementary matrices on the left multiplication on the left and why on the left? Because we are looking at system of equation, we are trying to solve the system of equation. So, we are manipulating the equations or we are manipulating the rows all right. If I do it for for example, if I want to look at what is a times e 2 of 5 all right, then it is nothing but we are multiplying the second column all right. So, this becomes first column there is no change second gets multiplied by 5. So, it will become 10 minus 5 and 5 there is no change for the third one it will remain 5 0 0 all right. So, similarly you have to look at the rest of it and compute the thing yourself. So, these are called elementary matrices what is important is for these matrices we also have an inverse. So, let us look at the inverse of E 2 5. So, the inverse of this will be equal to E 2 of 5 will be inverse of this is 1 0 0 0 1 upon 5 0 0 0 1. So, why 1 by upon 5? Because we multiplied by 5. So, we need to divide by 5 all right. What about the inverse here? E 1 2 minus 5 inverse. Here the inverse has to be here what we had done was we had added minus 5 times the second row to the first row. So, I have to get it back. So, get it back means I have to add 5 times. So, I have to look at 1 5 0 0 1 0 0 0 1. So, this is the inverse and it turns out that for these matrices which are interchange the inverse is itself there is no change as such. So, this inverse will be equal to 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 0 itself which you can see is same as E 1 3 and is also equal to E 1 3 transpose. Well, this is important that you get transpose here. So, the inverse is same as transpose that is very very important here fine. So, what we are seeing is that the notion of invertibility is basically saying that I have a matrix A, I multiply by a matrix and I get a result fine. So, I have a matrix A, I multiply by some matrix P and get a Q all right. Now, I need to find inverse in such a way that P inverse if I multiply to P A which is same as P inverse of Q I should get back identity I should get back A. So, in the sense that this P inverse P should behave as identity is that ok. So, these are the ideas that all these elementary matrices are invertible matrices and they are the ones which we had used in the Gauss elimination method or to get the LU decomposition all right. So, we will proceed on this further in the next class that is all for now. Thank you.